walking away from homosexuality hindi nga siya walking eh. it's it's difficult it, it's not easy i think it is not easy just be real be proud be real be gay be happy Meron ang LGBTQIA community ang nakiisa sa taunang Pride March. May ilang religyosong nagbabantang mapupunta sa impyerno ang hindi straight. Ano ngayon ang ating may pagmamalaki? Bigyan po natin ang konteksto ang Biblia. A strong majority of Filipinos are accepting of homosexuality. Mabilis ang pagdami ng AIDS and HIV cases. We accept the homosexual person but not the action. I grew up na wanting to be excellent in all that I do. Very competitive kasi very insecure. Doon nang gagaling yung when people say, wow, ang galing nito. Wow, ang galing mag-keyboard. Wow, ang galing. Parang it silences the, the insecurity. When I look at the mirror, I see someone very ugly. Yung thinking ko na I was born a mistake. Bakit ka pa naging babae? Hindi ka naman babae, kaya ka pangit eh. Kasi at a very young age, parang gusto ko na pang lalaki lahat, gusto ko na naka-boycott ako, tapos I would get attracted to girls na wala namang nagturo sa akin. They would joke around na, oh, saan naging lalaki ka na lang, yung dad ko, parang ganun, because he's always wanted a son, parang gusto niya, eldest niya, lalaki. Parang the environment was affirming, somehow na parang oh nga dapat naging lalaki ka na lang pero because of the lie in my head na parang mamahalin lang ako kung naging lalaki ako kasi yun ang gusto ng father ko I grew up in a Baptist church environment very conservative people did not impose on me I, alam kong there were rules and sige that was fine by me I stopped attending church nung my dad um, cheated on my mom. Parang nagalit ako kay God. And why is this happening to us? Surprisingly, alam kong na in love ako. It was my first heartbreak. Boyfriend muna bago girlfriend, di ba? Grabe yung grace ni God. But I don't think he loved me the way I loved him. I couldn't cope with the brokenness, so I became part of a basketball team. And dun ako nag girlfriend. Kasi yun, nag nag relationship ako for three years. And then, yung three years ko, I cheated dun sa last seven months of the relationship. And then, nagihiwalay, nagkagulo. Para sila, babae. I lost them both, and I was so broken. Akala ko love, parang sabi ko, pwede ka bang magmahal ng dalawa? Yun yung tinatanong. But at the end of the day, well, pwede kang magmahal ng dalawa, pero yung totoo, hindi mo sila mahal. Mahal mo yung sarili mo. I didn't know how to move on with my life. And siguro after a few months na hindi na kami nag-uusap, around June ng 2012, she asked me, Elaine, um, I forgive you. I'm willing to start over. My heart wanted to say yes. Deep inside, parang gusto ko talaga. But then, nung time na yon, God reminded me of something. Di ba three years kami, yung relationship namin. Nung one year pa lang kami sa relationship namin, I was in church, like, on a normal Sunday. Parang something in my heart said na, Lord, I am at my happiest now. If you take her away, I'm going to die. Because of that, he reminded me nung time na ino offer ng ex ko yung pakikipagbalikan. God reminded me of that. And then sabi niya sa akin, wala na kayo. Namatay ka ba? Through the circumstance, God helped me walk away from it. I had to turn it down because I knew that this was God's way of saying, Anak, this is the way out. God always gives you that choice. I know na a lot of my friends or even a lot of people watching are tired. I guess I want you to know that you're loved. God loves you and I'm excited because I want you to come to know and see the Father that somehow at least this season I get to see. Siguro bumalik ako sa Church 2012. That's when 
he allowed me to see now wow you were faithful despite everything <laughs>